your sphere bro, where should you place it? Bring it up some, bring it up a little bit more. All right, stop. I just put a bunch of programs in mm -hmm. and hit run, uh -huh. and then it start changing colors and stuff. Okay. And I change the colors. So there's some things that you did at first that did not work out and you had to change some things around? Nope, they all work. They the all work, time. oh, okay. We have uh, drones and spheros. So students are now getting uh, more acclimated and acquainted with actually putting in uh, the programs and doing coding using uh, Workbench, which is a portal uh, that allows uh, students or anyone to put in codes to program the spheros and drones. I like when we get to program the spheros and the drones, and we get it's really fun to do it. I like when it roll around the floor, and then you get to run with it. So when I dropped it, it turned green. Mm -hmm. That was your and collision. Then, mm -hmm. And then it was still rolling, because mm -hmm. I put repeat forever. You can make it change colors, go fast, go slow. And with the drums, you can make it flip forward, backwards, sideways. Oh, we doing a flip, okay. The students are really engaged and they're excited and they want to learn more about programming using the uh, technology. I want to learn more about the drones and how you connect um, the drone and the spheros at the same time. So when I click run, watch what happens, look. I could be with the next computer genius right here at Arundel, so I take it as a wonderful opportunity to know that I am actually being the person that is having an Im impact, being a, a positive beacon of light uh, for our young students here at Arundel uh, with also encouraging them to let, to let them know that they have uh, endless possibilities. And so this programming today may take you to uh, a great opportunity uh, as you continue to go on in your academic and educational journey. So, land it. Good, 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 okay, next.